pick up in the headphones. You sound good, Erica. <laughs> Thanks, Rex. <laughs> You're, that's really, really good. You expect a great university to teach the greatest names in literature, Homer, Shakespeare, and Whitman, to mention a few. Well, how about Jay-Z, adding Jay-Z to that list? There you go. Correspondent Whit Johnson is in Washington this morning with a look at one professor who says the rapper should be considered one of the immortals. Why not study the present? Right, Whit? Good morning. Absolutely. Erica, Chris, good morning to you. Well, hip-hop classes have been popping up on college campuses across the country, but none quite like this one with its unique focus on Jay-Z. This class here at the prestigious Georgetown University has 140 students enrolled. It is uncensored and drawing national attention. Allow me to reintroduce myself. Considered one of the greatest rappers of all time. Yeah, they love me everywhere. An entrepreneur worth $450 million. The story of Sean Carter, or Jay-Z, is provoking a new debate in an unlikely place. It's hard to even shake your hand to it, I guess. Huh? <laughs> I'm exhibiting the very behavior of which I'm critical. <laughs> Bobbing his head to Jay-Z's big pimping. Georgetown University professor Dr. Michael Eric Dyson is teaching the first class of its kind. Sociology of hip-hop, Jay-Z. This is not a class that we go, hey, those lyrics were dope. Let's just listen to the music. Nah, you got the wrong class. The class we attended covered urban culture, racism, um, so homophobia, sexism. Father absence, the rise of the single female-headed household creates a tremendous tension within hip-hop. Visceral, tangible, palpable tension. All from the rapper's complex and at times offensive lyrics. I got 99 problems, but a ain't one. Dyson says Jay-Z's rags-to-riches story, raised by a single mother on the tough Brooklyn streets, makes him the perfect study subject. You're comparing Jay-Z to Shakespeare? Absolutely. Jay-Z to Homer. Jay-Z to Thucydides. Jay-Z to every great artist who's ever picked up a pen. Yeah, I am saying that he's that great. But the class has its critics, especially at a university where tuition is nearly 40 grand per year. Some of my friends were definitely skeptical. Um, my academic advisor for my government major um, was actually very, very skeptical. Still, in its first semester, the course has been overwhelmingly popular. To study and up the things that are you see, think are part of your culture right now, but really have a deeper philosophical, sociological meaning uh, is really unique. So you're not a hypocrite, you just straight up love it. <laughs> Dyson is no stranger to hip-hop or the intricacies of modern culture. He's authored 17 books highlighting influential characters like Bill Cosby, MLK, and Tupac. Adding to his credibility among his students, Dyson says he and Jay-Z are friends. You tell him about this class? Oh, of course, yeah. What does he think? He loves it. Uh, he thinks it's a great idea. Character and he knows we're examining right. his That's lyrics critically. He knows we're examining some of the good, the bad, and the ugly. Now, today is the last day of the semester here at Georgetown University, but Dyson says he plans on teaching this class and others like it in the future. He even has an open invitation to Jay-Z to come and speak to his students. So far, though, the rapper has been unable to do that. He's been on tour. Hmm. Erica? With Johnson, good stuff. With thanks. It's good stuff. Yeah. I, I minored in Janet Jackson when I was in college. <laughs> that explains a lot. <laughs> right back.